Hello friends, I am Dr. Jaydev Panchavak. I am a practicing neurosurgeon in Pune for the last 20 years. I am chairman of Synapse Brain and Spine Foundation and a founding member of Neurochirurgische Hilfe Indian, which is a Indo-German neurosurgery foundation. I am a consultant neurosurgeon working at Sayadri Hospital, Pune. Today I am here to discuss about early symptoms of brain tumors. So without wasting time, let us start. So when we hear the name brain tumor, uh, naturally we get uh, shocked, especially if a person is given the diagnosis of brain tumor, he or she is naturally shocked. With today's technology and with today's uh, knowledge of neurosurgery, we can treat almost all the brain tumors. However, we are very happy when brain tumors are diagnosed early in time. For that, we have to know what are the early symptoms of brain tumors. So, I will try to explain them to you in step-by-step -step manner. So, skull is a closed cavity and when the tumor develops inside the skull, the pressure inside the skull is increasing. So, this is called as raised intracranial pressure. If a tumor grows inside the abdomen, for example, the abdomen will expand. However, the, when the tumor grows inside the skull, the skull cannot expand. And that is why we get uh, the symptoms of raised intracranial pressure. They are in the form of headaches, vomiting, uh, decrease in the level of consciousness and sometimes diplopia. Diplopia means double vision. So, does it mean that all these symptoms when they are present you have a brain tumor? No, but you have to be aware of these early symptoms. The second set of symptoms uh, with which sometimes people come to us for the first time with that symptom is a seizure or fit. It's called as akadi in Marathi or jhatka in Hindi. So uh, they come with the history of fit and that is the only symptom. It can happen with the brain tumor. So any adult patient with the uh, first fit in life, if he comes to us, we always investigate to rule out brain tumor. So remember that that is the second uh, common symptom of brain tumor. Uh, thirdly, uh, the set of symptoms which occur because the developing brain tumor destroys the function of that area of the brain. For example, if a tumor is uh, increasing in the right-sided parietal area or this area somewhere. Now we know that the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. So if the brain tumor is increasing in the motor area, it will cause weakness on the left side. So the function which is carried out by brain in that area slowly gets affected. So this is the third set of symptoms. So it depends on where the tumor is growing. And so the, it will accordingly uh, tamper with the symptoms. For example, a tumor which is uh, increasing at the base of the brain and is pressing on the optic nerves or nerves of vision will cause problem with the vision. But the fourth set of symptoms, uh, sometimes patients present uh, with only change in the level of consciousness. Uh, the relatives tell us that uh, off late the person is sleeping more, he is not taking interest in the surrounding, he uh, prefers to be in bed. So this can happen, changing level of consciousness, becoming drowsy. The fifth set of symptoms, which is rather rare, uh, but not as uncommon as people uh, think, is uh, with uh, patients presenting with psychiatric symptoms. For example, a patient who has a big tumor in the frontal area or this area has uh, a changed personality. Suddenly the person has become very quiet without any reason. He is not uh, taking interest in the surrounding. He is not responding normally. He is not planning his activities. He is not very enthusiastic in uh, planning and going to different places. Uh, if a person has got a tumor in temporal area, he can present quite differently. He can become unreasonably talkative, unreasonably uh, he starts doing different activities. So people think that, oh, this is not the same person. You know, this is change of personality or psychiatric symptoms. Sometimes these 
patients uh, are found to have brain tumor. So we have to remember this very, very clearly. Uh, I would like to make a mention about two tumors specifically because uh, they are uh, slightly different. The one set is that of pituitary tumors. Pituitary gland, as we all know, is the hormone producing gland uh, in our body, which is located at the base of the brain. And uh, when it starts increasing in size and uh, there is a tumor growing within, then uh, the hormonal system, the hormonal milieu of the body changes. If this happens in the young girl, she can come with sudden uh, you know change in the menstrual pattern or she can come with inability to conceive uh, if it happens in um, elderly person there may not be any hormonal symptoms but he can come with change in the vision because these tumors as they grow up they press on the optic nerves or the nerves of the vision so pituitary tumors can present with different types of symptoms that's a subject for different video but just remember that these are different types of tumors the last tumor that i want to mention and uh, one should never forget is what is called as colloid cyst now why i'm mentioning this is that if a person has colloid cyst it is like a time bomb so when i see a colloid cyst we i immediately tell the person to get operated because we don't know when it is going to cause a problem now we all know that uh, the brain has got a uh, fluid cavities which are connected to one another and the fluid flows from one cavity into another and then gets absorbed in the bloodstream now if the tumor grows to obstruct this chain of uh, fluid transfer suddenly there is rise in pressure inside the brain so colloid cyst is a tumor which is located at such very critical junction and if it obstructs that part suddenly there is dilatation of the ventricles the person can die instant almost in instantaneously uh, so one has to be very careful if it is diagnosed then it should not be observed too much so this was in short introduction to the common symptoms of brain tumors and uh, in this era especially in 2020 and now going to 2021 i would like to tell you that brain tumor surgery has changed at our brain tumor center we are operating difficult brain tumors uh, with a very good success rate only because uh, people are getting educated about the symptoms they are getting diagnosed early and they are coming to us early also the technology is helping us a lot of knowledge has suddenly expanded suddenly there is a uh, explosion of knowledge around this subject uh, there are uh, various new techniques to operate on brain tumor with uh, higher success rate etc but i would uh, inform that to you in some other video so please remember that diagnose brain tumors early report early get investigated early and ensure that the tumors are cured and help our brain tumor center in curing people if you have any doubts about brain surgery, spine surgery, uh, which are parts of neurosurgery, and uh, especially about brain tumors, then you can write to us. We will certainly try to uh, reply to you as early as possible because it, uh, it is our mission to uh, treat the brain tumors successfully. Thank you.